death of infrastructure, particularly roads, means Nigeria must devise ways to get out of the woods. However, there was a mild drama during the House of Representatives investigative hearing on the use of concrete technology for road construction. The lawmakers, members of the Nigerian Society of Engineers, NSC, disregard, disagreed over the issue. At the hearing, the chairman of the Committee on Works, Akin Alabi, and the Board of Trustee Chairman of the NSC, Emeka Eze, had a spat on the power of on the power of the House to take legislative action on the adoption of concrete technology. Actually, <laughs> what is this? Um, what they normally use ac across the country is this asphalt. Asphalt. But lately, you can see the road Dangote is building. This um, Antony Express Road, Tin Can Express Down, and lovely roads. That's um, the cement concrete, cement road. Maybe you saw Ibadan on Lagos Expressway. Mm. You saw when they were building? Yes. You see, Nigeria, I don't know why we are fixated on asphalt, asphalt, asphalt. When you, for a terrain like Nigeria, I hate it when people want to pass a law to say it's one thing. No, the terrains are not the same. But for most parts of Nigeria, concrete is the best. Hmm. Concrete is the best. Hmm. But some parts of the, the north... The will not wash it. Some part of the north, asphalt, perfect. Hmm. But when you take, you need to weigh the two. In terms of cash, concrete is more expensive. expensive. But it will last longer. But when, when you deserve the kind of road that will make you happy, have rest of mind, that will last, hmm. you go for concrete. It is almost impossible to cheat when building, you know, concrete. You can always cheat when they do, con you know, uh, asphalt. Because many times, what they do is not even the quality ones. So we need to think properly, properly about this. And uh, I'm happy when the new minister of uh, power, uh, the, the David Moy, you know, he set, you know, the tone for what he will do. That now Nigeria will do majorly, you know, concrete roads. Mm. That's good for us. Mm. Of course, it will cost more. Mm. Have, you, have you ever taken time to monitor them when they are doing concrete? Mm, I've seen. Ah, I to pilot with um, it, the, iron. The, the layers upon layers, when you see mm. what they are doing, it's not a small thing. And in Nigeria, where we are suffering, you know, very terrible... Uh, Infrastructure I mean, poor infrastructure deficit, mm. and there is not enough money to always repair and repair and repair because we have poor maintenance, you know, culture in our country. You see, the government at the federal and state level they do roads, and few months after, you see, gullies, you, you see portals on the same road that has, you know, that has just been, you know, commissioned, and you wonder why. But of all the concrete roads I've monitored, they are super. Mm. When go to a boring state, that's what, what the government the governor they did. Mm. Nigeria, we need serious conversation around this. But as for our country, especially down here in the south, where you have more rains, more this, more that, concrete is the best. Today, this argument in terms of expenses um, and in terms of uh, durability and uh, when you look at our environment, so what do you think? Do you have the luxury? Do you have the money no, to go for concrete or true? To do concrete roads is actually cheaper than cement. The minister has explained that. Right now, the price of... Um, bitumen has gone up to more than 1,000 more than 1,000 per ton or so. Um, whereas it was uh, more than I think it was 864 uh, per ton. 
it's gone up to 1,000. I will get the figures. Because when they faced the National Assembly, the Nigerian Society of Engineers, the argument was that the National Assembly should not get involved. National Assembly, I suspect that they were trying to legislate, trying to force uh, these guys to adopt cement technology. Mm. Now, the minister is saying that the price of asphalt mm. is growing by geometric proportions, whereas the price of cement is going up by arithmetic proportions. Mm. So the price of cement cannot match the price of uh, asphalt. Mm. So to him, it's cheaper to actually go for cement, and it is more long-lasting. Before now, I thought, ah, no, uh, cement is, what? Cement is produced here locally. So our people can actually deal with it. But I don't know why people, uh, a lot of these contractors don't want cement uh, to be used. The, go the uh, minister keeps saying that in terms of soil stabilization, that cement will give you a much better uh, alternative mm. than to go for asphalt. He constructed these roads in um, Abakariki at yes. um, Ebony I, I, And don't, I was, don't yes. forget that he's, he's an engineer. He built the whole, the airport is the only full concrete, that full concrete runway in our country. Hmm. The runway in, uh, in, uh, uh, in, uh, in Abuja and Lagos, they are not concrete. Hmm. But the runway of the airport in Neboyin is full concrete. That is the only airport where you see full concrete uh, at the airport. And it's durable. It's, it's much more stable. It, it's, it's not saying that you must use cement everywhere. There are some uh, um, parts of our country where you can actually, for example, in the north, you know they don't have the same volume of rainfall that we have. Mm. The, and the soil texture is different. Yes. It's not, it's not, it's not, uh, yes, it's not as swampy as Bayesa or even rivers, for example, mm. you know. So he cannot say that in every part of the north you must use cement technology. But he's saying that generally it will pay us to actually go for uh, cement uh, technology. I'm going to uh, get the, the pricing situation as we go on because he actually debunked the notion that cement is actually costlier than asphalt. He said we should dismiss that argument that it's actually way cheaper. Mm. Because you don't have to import cement. Mm. You know? But these people are thinking, they, they accused him of changing the goalpost uh, uh, mm. in the middle of a, a, a game by saying this is what we want. But I think it's, it's in our best interest. I always use the example of... Um, this road in Kogi State, Obajana, that Dangote built a long time ago, Obajana to Kaba, is concrete. And there has not been a pothole on that road since. And, and I think that's one of the first uh, concrete road experiments that uh, we And it, it works. Mm. There has not been a, uh, a, pothole, a pothole on that road. At least any time I go home, I still I use it. Oh, please. You know? And even in rural areas in Ebony, I saw concrete roads. He built more than 200 concrete roads in Ebony, more than 200, capping it with the airport that is full concrete. So I, I think and it's the, something... And the concrete is not subject to rainfall, that when there is rainfall, it will affect... Of course not. It's, it's much more durable. With, it, uh, it, it aligns with, you know, to, you know uh, regions where you have even more rains. Mm. You know, the soil texture here in the south, you know, the only problem for this is the uh, steel material. Hmm. And, uh, we have to provide the steel material for the reinforced concrete. Otherwise, cement is readily available. We have some cement companies here providing our cement needs. So uh, it's not really, if, if they can reactivate our Jakuta, for example, we are going to have uh, as much cement as, uh, but uh, it's 30 percent cement that we use, you know, for, for the roads. And I think we should ultimately we should do something about our roads. If you go from Lagos to Abuja by roads, 
as in you'll be you'll be tired, as in something that's not meant to be more than ten hours. But what you are going to face between Lagos and Abuja, and you begin to look at that. Government officials don't go through this road because if they go, they would not allow the state of those roads to, you know. The moment, like the mm -hmm. moment you leave the battle, you believe you are in hell. Hmm. On our roads, hmm. I went to Oshun recently. I said, ne I don't know the next time I would ever try it. Such a Oshun just here. The moment you leave Ibadan, even right from some part of Ibadan, down, either you are going to Oshun or you are going to Oto Gates. This is so terrible. In fact, at some point, I was worried because I was seeing some to cook, you know, signboard. I said, ah, what? This, um, we thought all these rules had been done. Terrible, terrible state of rules. Hmm. I've never seen, in my life, I've never seen such, you know, see, terrible you know, condition. Of I've over. never did. I was so shocked. The moment you, the, you, you are happy if you drive now from Lagos, you know, because of the Lagos Ibadan, just leave that section of Francis. Then you are in hell. Complete end. I go to Benin or uh, and get with Jebu. Yeah. Jebu ends. So we have that as a problem. So the discussion uh, price uh, now price, what works best for us? Let's embrace it. That's me. And now that our money, our uh, currency is suffering. Huge inflation, devaluation, everything. Mm. What we think is actually cheaper is now more expensive. Yeah. Abi? Let me even explain <laughs> Let it. Let now do. Um, uh, uh, the bitumen. Bitumen is now 576,000 per ton. Mm. I mean, it used to be 576,000 uh, per right. ton. It is now 1 million per ton. You can see. And with the attendant consequences that contractors will increase the cost of road uh, contracts. So that's one of the reasons is going for uh, for cement because the cost of bitumen hmm. has gone up from 576,000 per ton to 1 million now per ton. That's uh, almost a uh, 100% uh, uh, increase. Hmm. It's, it's, upon, it's upon and then we have to look for government. We have to invest steadily. I don't even yes. know. Even the cost of um, the the Ministry of Works, mm. they are owing contractors a lot of money. Mm. Have to I don't know those. where they can find the money to even pay what they have. That's why FEMA was saying that they need um, about uh, 300 billion or 400 billion to maintain the roads, just to do palliative measures on mm. roads so mm. every year, mm. you know? So we, there has to be alternative means of funding the roads. And then I believe that they need to put, way, um, what they call, way bridges on some of the roads. Mm. So those roads are not designed to carry dead weights like trailers, mm. carrying cement. Mm. They mm. damage the roads. Mm. Although if it's, I believe that they cannot damage uh, road construction, construction, constructed with cement like that, mm. because this cement can actually withstand. Uh, yeah. Yes, it has that uh, stabilization that the um, asphalt roads do not have. You know, so we have to put way bridges. Mm. If uh, the tonnage of your vehicle is too much for a trunk A road, for example, mm. they won't allow you to use it. They've already installed uh, way bridges mm. on uh, the second Niger bridge, for example. Okay, so that you cannot, if yeah. uh, your truck is too heavy, okay. they will not let it use that road. Mm. Of course, it's not cement, uh, <laughs> it's still as fast technology that they mm. used. So mm. for the roads to last, they have mm. to be properly constructed. I trust that this road will last, uh, this Lego yeah, Expressway now, because you can see even the thickness of the, yes, so the asphalt. asphalt. Uh -huh. 
And before then, they put uh, cement overlay mm. and all that. Was that it was stone base. Started, the old road. The minister is also saying, use stone base instead of latrite. Mm. You know what they first do? They put pour latrite and compact the latrite before putting uh, cement, before putting uh, asphalt. He's now saying, look, in places where uh, you have constant rainfall and all that, that asphalt, I mean, uh, latrite is not designed to withstand pressure. Hmm. Because he is a professional, they are going to really have a lot of issues with him because he's going to insist on what he thinks will work for Nigeria. And those who are out to simply make money, they are going to challenge him. They are going to think, ah, why is this person coming up with this? But I like the fact that he, he said uh, during our interview with him uh, on Monday, he said he's not forcing cement technology across the country, that there are parts of the country where they will insist mm. that, look, use cement uh, uh, here. For example, Sokoto, Maiduguri, all of those places where they don't experience so much the, rainfall. The traffic. They, yes, they don't even experience so much rainfall. They can do with uh, asphalt roads once they are properly uh, designed and uh, delivered. Adekule, uh, what do we do about this issue of federal and state roads? How do we get it over with? Because if you see the level of um, the... Uh, the, the the bad state of the so-called federal roads, since the federal government cannot handle it across 36 states. Yeah, I think out of uh, Nigeria has uh, 195,000 kilometer roads, and I think about 30, 30, you know, thousand kilometer belonging to the federal. 32. I mean, the ones what is paved out of this is about. 60, you know, thousand kilometers. Imagine the remaining quantity of roads that are yet to be paved. As we speak now, there's a lot of big debt. Nigeria is owing, you know, for roads, 14 trillion. Hmm. This government, this new government, does paid, I think, about uh, 4 trillion out of the 14 trillion inherited from the you know previous administration that's the records we have that we're working so now that's 10 trillion as debt we are not talking about what they also need you know to do a lot of things so many of these things are there and we are not talking about the what should be the real conversation we are talking about you use this don't use this use concrete, don't use advert, use asphalt, don't use concrete. I don't think the Senate should, that should be the business of the Senate. Mm. Because the experts are involved and let's do what is best for our country. Let's do a mixed method. For anywhere we want to do mm. road construction, where it works best for, for concrete, let's go concrete. Mm. Where it works best for asphalt, mm. let's go asphalt. Is it not for the betterment of our country? Hmm. Because when you see them make this kind of argument, we, 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 we call up politics, everything we want to do. Why we always love to just politicize, politicize. And many of the contractors, you know, they love their pocket more than their country. Hmm. Many of them are behind these agitations, don't use this, do use that. You know, when you have can produce cement locally and it is proved that it can work best for you. Don't you know what can it can mean in terms of uh, empowerment, or, uh, job opportunities? You don't know what it means? Even what uh, the, the industry is producing you know, cement, what it will mean in terms of turnover, yes. what they will pay your taxes, what will help our economy. We don't want it. We want things that we have to you know, dissipate our you know, scarce Forex to come and bring in. They don't, they don't, they don't, they we should think more about our country than our pockets. He, he, the minister was even saying when he met, he met some of the directors uh, in his ministry and he said that uh, 
concrete road pavement is better, cheaper, and will last longer than asphalt pavement in the construction of roads in some parts of the country because of the terrain. So it's not saying that it should be uh, everywhere. everywhere. He said the, it has a lot of advantages in road construction. It can last, concrete can last for 50 years without having issues of potholes. Mm. Concrete roads can withstand heavy traffic loads. Mm. It has low maintenance and is less affected by temperature fluctuations. Mm. You know, they consult asphalt road, the next year they are back, they are filling potholes. Mm. We don't see that with those concrete, uh, mm. uh, concrete roads. Mm. So uh, now that uh, it's been able to prove, especially with the uh, devaluation of our currency, mm. that it makes sense to uh, adopt uh, cement technology. I think that it should not be a problem for contractors to agree to it. But of course, it has to be for new projects. Mm. You can't tell someone who has constructed a road that way that it should revert to uh, cement technology. So for new projects, I will encourage the minister to insist that in this part of the country it has to be cement uh, technology.